All right, guys, we got the motor all put back together. Uh, we'll be put, 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 putting it back in the tractor here shortly. And uh, got everything done. So hopefully it's not going to pump oil no more. It was, I believe it was in the bore. It was too smooth, only on the number two cylinder. So uh, we roughed it up, put it all back together. There it is. It's all together. And we're going to put it down in a tractor and then we'll uh, do our hydraulic uh, lifters and all that and uh, as soon as we get it down in there we'll show you it in the tractor then we'll show you a video of it running and hopefully it's not pumping oil anymore so I'll bring you back once we get it all installed in the tractor All right, guys. Welcome back to the Twisted V-Twin Garage. We got Ronnie's motor all down in the tractor. Got it fired. Big mistake. Number one cylinder pumping oil. So, or no, no, number two. I'm sorry, number two cylinder. So we tore it back down, and I'll show you what we got. And you all have to pay attention on this. Right there, this bottom oil ring right here wasn't seated and the bore was real smooth so it was letting the oil pass so I took an uh, I took emery cloth and I roughed it up real good just cleaned it up inside because the, like I said the bore was smooth so we're gonna put it all back together and see where we're at but the bore was real smooth in it it had to be letting it pass and check the oil ring and everything and, and in both compression rings and we're going to put it back together and see what we got but I believe the problem was that the uh, cylinder was too smooth in the bore sometimes that happens so hopefully that's what our problem is but we're going to take and build, put the motor all back together build it back up put it back in the tractor and see if we're still pumping oil but uh, I think that's going to solve the problem. I had one other motor years ago that did it, and it came down to the bore was too smooth. But we'll see, and uh, I'm going to start putting this thing back together, and I'll bring you back and show you more before we put it down in the tractor when we get the motor completely built back up. And uh, y'all stay tuned, and we'll see you in a bit. All right, everybody. Welcome back. We put Ron's motor down in the tractor, still pumping oil. So we took it back out, tore it down, pulled the heads and everything back off of it. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a bore gauge on it, check the bore. Never had no issues with my machine shop or anything. This is a bore gauge if anybody doesn't know. But uh, don't know if the bore's out of round. Or what but uh, we're gonna check it out see what we find check our machinist and everything spins my bore is the same throughout with gauge in it I can spin it freely. And that's what the bore gauge is supposed to do. Check your bore throughout the whole entire cylinder. Everything is it's there. I mean can't say that anything's wrong. The bore is perfectly fine on that cylinder. So <coughs> Just for the heck of it, let's check the bore on this side. I'm not going to change my gauge, it's already set. Drops right in there, guys. I can spin it freely. No matter where I put it, the bore is on. 
So, next step, we're going to have to uh, gauge the pistons and find out if, if I got a bad piston from the factory, a defected piston, I don't know, but I'm leaning that way because checking the bore and everything, these bore gauges don't lie. I mean, the bore is dead on. So, we're going to have to mic up some pistons and see what I got on that. Um, but the bore is spot on. I can't can't say it was the machinist. So we got to figure out what's going on with this motor and why it's pumping oil. We put rings, put new rings on it, everything. We still have the same issue, pumping oil. So it's got to be a piston out around or a factor defect or something. But uh, let me find a uh, mic and we're going to mic some pistons and then we'll figure out what's going on all right guys we took and decided we was going to mic these pistons and look for an out around piston what you do is you get her set which I probably should have did this before I built the motor, but I've never had no issues like this. Uh-oh. Right there's the problem. Piston's out around. It won't even go back on the piston. Oh, Lord. I'm going to call that a factory defected piston. That's what it is. Piston is out of round. Not by a whole lot, but enough that they ain't going to let them ring seat properly in the block. Nope. Won't even let it back on. Now if I come back over here, it'll drop right back on. There you have it. Never thought to check it, but it's out around. So we got to order some new pistons for this motor. And those are brand new pistons, so they'll have to be sent back and get the right part. And hopefully, we don't have to go back to the machine shop and get this thing bored again. Hopefully not. But I do have a number two piston out around without a spec. By gauging them and doing the bore check, bore spot on. When I mic the pistons, we got a problem. Alrighty, thanks for watching. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get to the, uh, ordering some new pistons for it again. Well, a piston, or I may have to buy the set over, return these, and get a whole new set, and uh, see if we can get it down in our bore. But I don't think we're gonna have to rebore the motor. I think we'll be able to stay the same bore. Um, but we're gonna call it quits here on this video, and. Uh, if you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. And this is 25 horse, Kohler Command, uh, complete rebuild. So if you follow the video, it'll show you step by step on how I build the motor and everything. I just showed you checking the bore on the cylinders and checking the pistons. And right now we have an out around piston. So. If you find it helpful, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And we'll bring you back on the next video when we get more parts showing you what we did. And we'll get this thing back running. Thanks for watching.